En dan wil ik wel alles tegelijk doen natuurlijk. Iedereen gedag zeggen in de live chat, want er zitten er weer lekker veel in. Ja, ja. En uh, uiteraard ook jullie allemaal een welkom heten en uh, luisteren naar de gave muziek. De openingstune, Max calling you, because I'm calling to you. Herzlich willkommen, guten Abend. And uh, so nice of you to be here with all of us. And uh, buonasera a tutti, benvenuti. We zijn zo blij dat iedereen nu weer is. Ook leuk, gaaf dat jullie luisteren. And uh, thank you very much for tuning in for Eventi dat Zoren. My name is Marcello. We have Michiel, we have Maurizio. And we, and, uh, we are planning to give you a wonderful show. As we are trying to do, as usual, on a Monday night. Radio Stad Den Haag with Eventi dat Zoren. Well, tonight we are, we are having a special... Yeah, I think so too. Because uh, we have the, the idea to... Try to find a contact with Linda Jorizzo because we know for a fact that she's in Holland and we want to ask her what she's doing over here and what is her life looking like now at the moment. And of course we are going to play for you once again because we are so proud the new releases by Eventi Zurich. Of course there are a lot of you uh, very loyal fans always listening to Radio Stadenhaag and of course you have listened to the first releases uh, Monday uh, last Monday with Eventi dat Zoeren, but also yesterday night with uh, the Sunday Night Live request show. You could listen already to the releases, and I'm so proud that we're going to do it again, because there are new ones now listening to the show, and maybe on a later moment listening to the real live show. Um, people ask me, Marcello, can you give me a hint on, on which day the records will arrive and maybe sent abroad to me as a fan. I can't, I really can't, because we know for a fact they have been pressed in Italy. And of course, we know that these days they are going to be shipped to Holland. But then again, I told you last week, we have to cross fingers that nothing goes wrong, because sometimes things, uh, boxes could be damaged in uh, sending over. So uh, let's hope that everything will be all right, that the pressings will be okay, that the sleeves will be wonderful to see, and there is no crack in in the the sleeve, because, you know, when you are purchasing something new, you won't have a damaged sleeve or or maybe a a record vinyl, vinyl, which is not correct. So we have to wait for the very last moment that we are sure that everything is okay, and then we will mention I think most of you will follow the Facebook pages. We will mention that the records can be sent to you abroad. But now you have to do it with the audio and you can find them also on YouTube. So with Eventi, you can also listen to these just as a as a teaser, you know, to make you curious and hopefully that you will spread the news that we are so proud of having the new ones. But first of all, we are going to do something with the oldies and then we will search for the best uh, moment to uh, get in contact with Linda Rizzo. And we have, uh, well, a wonderful tribute of Maurizio. I was intending to play for sure something of Albert One. You can reckon on this, of course, because tomorrow, the 11th of May, it has been a year passed by without Albertone amongst us. So that's why for sure we will pay attention to this wonderful man that is now in heaven and left us so beautiful music. And Maurizio made a little compilation of some songs and we are going to play that uh, of course for you tonight as well. So I hope you are ready for the, the tunes that made the Italians, the made in Italy sound, the Italo disco sound, so popular. For example, this one, written by Graziano Pegoraro, he's also in heaven, maybe he's sitting next to Albertone, who says, um, it could be, why not? I believe there is something extra. I'm, I'm just a believer that it's not going to end. Okay, the music is still there, but maybe some part of our, the, sh- the soul within us could remain in the head and the heart of the people that we love and that they know of. So let's hope that we can continue to play the wonderful music, at least for you, and remembering the artists who created those sounds. Well, this is the one, of course, the Be My Girl. And, um, well, I told you it was written by Graziano Pegoraro. And Ray Foster is the performing artist. And it all comes from October 1986. 
Want die heeft hier een foto gevonden van Sabrina Salerno. Nou is dat niet zo heel moeilijk, want ze post volgens mij elke dag niet mee één, maar misschien wel meerdere foto's. Maar uh, hij lijkt een soort collectioneur van foto's van Sabrina Salerno. Maar er was wel weer een hele mooie met uh, de bloemen in, daar, uh, in de armen. Of daar stond ze dan tegenaan te leunen als het ware. En toen zei uh, Menno van, nou dat is iets voor jou, uh, voor je bos, voor je tuin. Ik zei, nou als ze het zelf komt brengen, dan is dat wel leuk. Ik als ze het persoonlijk komt afleveren. Nou anyway, dus uh, Be My Girl... Even een knipoog naar Menno ook. Een, een momentje ook. We gaan naar, uh, van de ene grootheid naar de andere. En dan bedoel ik eigenlijk twee mensen. I'm referring to two friends that we have in, uh, well, in the particular, in, for this vinyl. Robert Camero en Marcello Catalano. Listen to this. Every day you live inside of me. Waiting for my desire. There's no Make you feel like me Now it's not that this side Should you walk away I could say That it must be a sign Oh 
Hi everybody, here's Robert Camara speaking. And you certainly know that uh, Robert Camaro is a wonderful guy. Hi, everybody. Here is Robert Camaro speaking. Yeah. So it's him, all right, born in Bolzano. And, of course, he's now living in uh, Milano and having a wonderful life. But he's a dedicated person, convinced in uh, also some parts of the spiritual life. And he's just a wonderful guy. He really is. But also the creator, the co-creator of this track is Marcello Catalano. 
He's even an older friend that I have in the nearest of Milano, in uh, Corbetta, so to speak. That's near Magenta, at the west side of Milano. And uh, Marcello Catalano had... Uh, he's done so many things, like under the name of Thomas, for example, you know. But this is an, another one. It's a new release on Eventy Records. Mark Line, featuring Claudio, in this case. And uh, we're going to play for you the track. It's called The Crazy in the Night. And Claudio was a good friend of Marcello Catalano in those days. So I hope you enjoy the new release of Eventy Records. This is Catalano and his other name, Mark Line. And featuring Claudio.
Eventi d'Azzurro On your favorite station Radio Staden A Eventi d'Azzurro Your connection to classic Italos and more talking to uh, Linda Jorizzo because, well, you know, she's in Amsterdam. You have heard it yesterday night, maybe in the Sunday Night Live request show. But if not, I'm coming to tell you. She is there for some shooting, some video shooting. And it's five o'clock up, out of bed, then uh, recording and video shooting. And then now she just, th- this moment, she came into the hotel. So you can imagine 
what a long working day she has had. And she said, oh, Marcello, please, I have to eat something because I'm starving. So that's why, we, because we first thought that 9.30 could be perfect to uh, call and to Skype maybe. But she said, let me finish my dinner and then I will give you a hint uh, at what time we can uh, Skype or phone call. So that's why we are going to wait for just somewhat more and maybe it's going to be 10-ish or 10.15. But we will talk to Lindia Ritzo for sure and then you will know more what she's doing over here. This is By the way, Bazooka, what you're listening to right now. Wonderful pizza. Grazie Maurizio. And you know, we have to do it all in one show. Because I didn't have my dinner as well. Because Linda Yorizzo, okay, maybe she worked harder. It could be that she's worn out and uh, more even worn out than I am at the moment. But I'm, I'm always getting energy 
creating this show. I always get something out of it. And I'm very happy with your com- uh, comments and your uh, remarks. And, and when I'm watching the Facebook pages, I always be happy to read something out of, well, you know, my favorites, the show your vinyl pages. And if you're not a fan at the moment of the pages on Facebook, Italo Disco show your vinyl, I can recommend that to you. It's really something special to see what fans can post on those pages. So you have listened to Mark Line. And you have listened to Bazooka, and it's both of Marcello Catalano. So this was the Bazooka. And if you watch the Copertina carefully... And you've you, listened to... Yeah, that's, that's okay, coming up. Sorry, that's coming I'm up, sorry, coming I up. You uh, it. If you are watching the sleeve, the record sleeve of Bazooka, and uh, you will see the brother, Il Fratello of Marcello Catalano, Vincenzo, on the sleeve. And I remember one day when we were in the countryside, uh, escaping from... Milano, out of the heat of Milano, uh, we were invited by the Catalano family on her, their little domain, it's like an estate, and uh, with their own wine, their own uh, grapes, etc., etc. So we were there in the family, and I met the brothers and also the sister of uh, Marcello Catalano, and Vincenzo was there too, spending the weekend, and he's on the cover of Bazooka. So now you know something more of the history of the family. And, of course, you have listened to Michiel. He just remembered, but I didn't forget. Uh, Atelier Foli, Rago and Forina, in the Italo Disco Connection, Italo Connection version, the No Rhyme, No Reason. And this, this is something that's really something of the time of now. We are longing for the spring. We have enjoyed one day. And it was yesterday a warm day in Holland. And that's why I'm playing this one by Antilles because I know for a fact that Rick is enjoying this sound as much as I do. So, Antilles!
Ja, oplet jongens. <laughs> het is toch te mooi. En we zijn met het praten over musical the tastes. Well, this is about taste of music. So, you have listened to the longing for the spring. And I hope you enjoyed this one by Antilles. A little bit of Denmark in the show. Well, I told you, we can't do without him. Albertone Carpani. This is just one of the tracks that we're going to play for you. But later on we have another one, a mini compilation made by Maurizio. And we are very grateful not only for his choices in the music, but also for the words that he had written on Facebook. So I can just say to you, if you haven't seen that little bit of text of Maurizio on Facebook about Albertone Carpani, just do it and read it. And this is, of course, Face to Face. Go. Cool. 
remarks. Thank you, Chatters, because you are wonderful. Of course, you knew that you are wonderful, but I'd like to express my feelings once again. So I'm so glad that you're here. And of course, uh, sharing those moments indeed with uh, what, what we think about one year, nearly one year, tomorrow one year after the scomparso, the death of Albertone Carpani. And there's coming up more, I told you. So let's move on to the new releases of Eventi, because uh, from Eventi Records face-to-face to the new Torrado, it's just a small step, but you have to reckon they delivered a pop album not so long ago. And we had to do our best to make it into an 80s uh, remixed version. And I think Eddie Miami, you know the guy, he did a wonderful job once again. So you're going to listen to the new Torvado, the Heartbreaker, with a wonderful cover. As far as I'm concerned, if you see the lady lying on the, the pianoforte, and then you will see the guy with the strings attached on his hands playing the tune. Okay, but this is the music, Torvado.
isn't the sound of Torrado. I wouldn't I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know better. This is the sound of Torrado. Well, let's cross fingers because next week same station, same radio show Eventi Azzurro, we're going to talk with Torrado and we are going to have a, a Skype interview. Also, we try to have the connection with Linda Rizzo just later on. But first, we're going to do something for Bruno. Bruno is a loyal fan as well, always having and paying attention to what we are posting on Facebook and having his own opinions about good music. Well, this is something that he suggested on Facebook. What could be better than this one? <laughs> I can hear your voice. Of course. This is the answer to fun fun in those days. And we are talking about the Bortolotti idea of hot cold. Ideas and suggestions because we have 
seen so many of your hits passing by via Facebook. But now we're going to do something just as a filler. But <laughs> it's not that negative, man, because this is one of the biggest hits ever for a lot of Italo Disco fans, including me, myself. Watch this. This is a limited edition, of course, because, you know, seeing the picture sleeve was something different than just the sleeve with a hole in the middle. And this is the Lato B.
connection with Amsterdam. You know, sometimes the technique can be difficult and usually we have the complaints of the things happening just outside our radio studio. But at the moment I think it could be Amsterdam as well. But we have a connection now, so let's cherish the moment and okay. have... Si dice in italiano, profitto il momento, giusto? Profitto il momento. Profitto il momento. Cara, cara, ciao Linda. Ciao Marcello. Oh, oh I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really f- fond of you seeing now directly uh, on camera because, of course, with Corona, etc., etc., it's a different thing. But nevertheless, it is something that we can share. So thank oh, yeah. you because you explained to, uh, to us how difficult your days and how um, stressing your days could be at the moment because getting up at five... Yep, five in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> But by Jove, why so early? Can I ask you this? Why so early? Um, because we leave the hotel already at seven. Mm-hmm. You know, where many people, so they have to do corona tests and... Okay. Yeah, it's, they're very, very strict, very careful so that nobody, nobody has a problem. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I can understand that, and uh, lots of our uh, our listeners will have the same feeling. Of course, it's it's logical that everything uh, could be safe, and for you guys and you girls would be safe. But is the video shooting in Amsterdam or another part of Holland? No, it's in Amsterdam, but we're we're not allowed to talk about it because it's top secret. Okay, because the next question would have been, <laughs> what is the shooting all about? <laughs> okay, so you are uh, uh, now part of something that is top secret. Can, exactly. you, can you never, or maybe you can just give us a hint. Are there more artists involved or you are the most important one at the moment? Or maybe it's about you. Can you say something about this? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I think, I think I'm the only artist. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. But nevertheless, nevertheless, I think it, what's, what's important that you have said, it is something that deserves to be top secret. So it is something important. Yeah. So in these days when it's so difficult to have a right promotion, maybe to have something new, to, you, you can't even go uh, in the usual way on stage. Yeah. I think it's wonderful then yeah. to enjoy this one. Well, that's why I'm here because, uh, you know, I live in Munich, as you know, and mm-hmm. uh, there's a there's still a lockdown there. And I, I did two uh, virtual concerts mm-hmm. uh, this year, I think, because people are starting to get into doing the virtual concerts. But it's not the same, Marcello. I mean, yeah. I sing my songs um, and there's there's no audience. The room is dark and the room is cold and it's just it's not the same. And yeah. and I. Feel that in my performing, I don't have the same energy or feeling. I need my fans. I need the lights and the yes. applause. It's, yes. it's so electric, you know. Yeah, that, that's. But that's the thing. Of course, it's from your point of view very, very logical to say. But I think you can imagine also from our point of view as a fan, or maybe as a, well, I'm not a journalist, but uh, you know, I am trying to do some promotion. I do my best to give it a hint and to give a promotional push. And I remember very well that we were in Dresden, maybe it was 2008 or something. And then I f- was so joyful to to get near to you, to just express my feelings of a gratitude to be uh, expressing myself as a fan, but also as a promoter. It was the combination of being as a yeah. human being in front of another human being and having the same emotional electricity, the, the thing exactly. that you feel. And that's, I think, the, the what you mean when you're yeah. on stage, when the audience is in front of you, it's some kind of, well, call it magic. It's something that's happening yeah. between you and the audience. Different kind of magic. <laughs> and, Well, of course, you knew what I was... <laughs> I have this one ready to play after our little conversation because I'm not holding you up too long because when I entered the studio here, I had I had my dinner as well. I'm just enjoying my pizza because of our dear Maurizio in the studio. But I can imagine for you as a guest in our, uh, uh, our country that you are entering the hotel so late and then having still... The starving feeling. <laughs> of yeah, and we 
eat in our rooms because it's late. We have to get to bed early and be up early. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And also, again, because of the corona and all the testing, yeah. you know, we we really stick to very strict rules. But yeah. it's working. They're lovely people and work with everything's everything's beautiful. I'm very happy. I okay, mean, well, happy that, to be here. I hope that it's it's not something that I'm going to ask you as a promise. But maybe if there is a possibility, of course, you're still very welcome to come into the studio. If there's a, it's not so far. It's it's not only 40 minutes from Amsterdam. So is there something like free time that you have something extra to spend? You are welcome to come here and maybe we can record something if it's not on a regular uh, scheduled time for uh, our radio shows. We can do something to uh, have something uh, in our hands and to meet to really have a meeting live. Yeah. So Definitely. that's. Yeah, agreed. No, I don't have any free time. But when I'm done, I hope. I'd like to spend, you know, add another day, and I definitely want to see you because if I'm in Amsterdam, I yeah. can't leave without coming to Radio Stadt and Hank. I yeah. mean, hey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you oh, yes, you're, you're, you're a dear. Thank you. And the other thing is, maybe then after, when there's a moment for you to be free to speak, that we can bring the news on the radio, so that you can inform us to uh, have the news spread uh, when it's not lo- no longer a secret. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's a promise. Okay, well then the other thing, because that's not a secret. Uh, I did my best, you know that, to be involved in this wonderful project of uh, Zix Italo Disco radio shows. And uh, we are busy here in the studio. We have scheduled time so uh, thick. Uh, it's it's not really possible to do so. I did my best, but it can't be done. But the other ones in in the rest of the world, they are going to do something. Can you explain to the listeners at the moment, what can they expect to have with six Italo Disco radio shows? Um, well, this idea came from me because, as you know, the Italo Disco music, this has really specific fans around the world, the 80s uh-huh. fans. And it doesn't go beyond that. And it's a shame because more and more today, even young people who weren't even born in the 80s, uh-huh. going back to 80s music, it's growing. It's strong. Yeah. And that was my idea to spread it out to make it more popular so we uh, have more listeners more fans etc great and what the program is about are, are the italo disco sounds and of course new generation music which are new productions yeah with 80s feeling yeah the feedback has been fantastic um we already did one week with different radio shows around the world mm-hmm. and they said that the the quota was fantastic i got a lot of artists colleagues yeah jingles so i'm very very happy i'm very thankful okay that, and yeah. we are happy with you because you said it it's one uh, extra like an extension of being uh, uh, able to spread the wonderful sounds and you know even with television shows they say in these difficult times people need to have a distraction that is not only easy to listen to, but also giving you energy. I'm just, I just a few moments ago, I, I said to the listeners at the, this radio station, I get energy from presenting this show. I get energy from the positive reactions and the comments here in the, in the chat of the listeners. So that's exactly what you mean. Spread it. Yeah. Definitely. Oh. Yeah, and the fans, the yeah, 80s fans, they're really special. I mean, it's its like a this really special club, you know? True. They, they all stick together. They like the vinyls. They like the old CDs. They want signatures. They want autographs. They want live concerts. They they still have that energy True. that we had 30 years ago. The, yeah. new gener- the new generation of music, it's, you know, it's more streaming and downloading. It's not physical. There's no real contact with the artist. It's so... I don't know. How can you say it's like it's broken? It's it's separate. Yeah. Whereas the 80s is we're together. We're like and and what's more, it's it's too quick. It's just yeah. having having a hit on TikTok maybe or via whatever channel, uh, and then it's gone. Yeah. And they are not really interested uh, because you know I'm teaching to the youngsters, so I know what they are talking about, what they are dancing to, and That's it's it. not Italo disco. Uh, I'm uh, <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but it's also very. Well, quick, it's like fluid. It's like uh, they have a hit today. Oh, yeah, it's a nice tune. And then tomorrow it's gonna, it's another one. And they're not even 
interested in where it's coming from and who is it singing and et cetera, et cetera. Let alone that we in the 80s, we were uh, uh, very happy with the single and then we were already guessing, oh, what could be the forthcoming album? Or right. maybe this one was uh, announced as coming from the forthcoming album of Punta, 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 Punta. So we were really dedicated to the artist as well. And that's what you say. The physical thing is gone at the moment. So that's why we have to cherish this. It's true. I still buy CDs. I don't even know how to download or stream. I don't even <laughs> want to know. I'll, I want a CD or a vinyl. I want to read it. I want to touch it. I want to that's feel it. That's it. You have to touch it. There's a the, the physical contact also with the material like the vinyl. So, um, well, let's say this. Is there anything that we ought to know about maybe a new uh, yeah. musical project that is not a secret? <laughs> yes. Um, as you know, I, many years ago, I did uh, an album with um, Gabor Hattigai and uh, Johan Perry in Paris. Yeah. He did um, The Day of the Light which the first version of the album was not, it wasn't very popular because it was too modern. Then yeah. we did the Reloaded, which was good because it was more of the 80s sounds. Mm-hmm. Want. And now Gabua has taken, I think there's eight or nine titles, um, all in the 80s style. Great. And he's doing a vinyl album wow. coming out in July. And it's, I think it's uh, Linda Jo Rizzo's special vinyl remix wow. collection. This is actually my first vinyl album. Wow! Well, applause. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is great. Yes. Oh, congratulations. Mm-hmm. Aguri, aguri. <laughs> and I have to say something also because, you know, I'm not a Valentino, but even after a day that you have gone through, you are looking good. My dear Madonna, <laughs> you are looking good. I didn't hear you. Oh, I'm sorry, because the connection maybe was bad. After, Even after a hard day of labor, of work, of today, for you, you are still looking great. Compliments to you. you. <laughs> I'm ready to fall into bed right now. <laughs> yeah. But that's, maybe that's why I'm saying it, that don't worry. We love you. We love you. We love you. <laughs> Thank you, Marcelo. So, Thank you. I'm, I'm going to say goodbye to you, of course, and then you know for sure that we are going to play different kind of magic with that wonderful Gianni Di Coraini, Ken Laszlo. Is there maybe in the future also a possibility that you guys get together again for a new project? Because we loved that one. Really, we loved that one. I'll tell you, as soon as this corona dies down, mm-hmm. I have to get back to Italy. I want to get back to Milano. Yeah. And Some people I want to talk to, I want to do some projects together. I'd Great. love to work with Paul Gazzibo. Yeah, yeah. Love to with him because he is a piano player and I'd love to do like some sort of a ballad with him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. With with Ken Laszlo, I'd work again because we had a fabulous time. He's a lovely, lovely person. Yes. Um, I've, I've spoken with La Bionda down in Milano. We oh, wanted yeah. To the last, yeah, Carmelo. I know Carmelo since the 70s. Um, <laughs> we spoke, we wanted to meet last year to maybe get together and do something. But again, with Corona, everything is just, how do you say, it's standing still. You know, it's yeah. like the earth is standing still. <laughs> so um, I want to get down to Italy. And then I, I do want to reach out because I think also with Corona, a lot of us, we, we connected differently. You know, we came together. Yeah. Yeah. We, came, we came back down. Yeah, you but know. nevertheless, you mentioned before, the club of Italo fans is such a special group of persons. I told you, I love the people here attending the show, but also on Facebook. I think that is the advantage of having a good group of fans of Italo Disco Sounds. They remain fans. They will be sticking together. They will be buying the vinyl or the CDs or come to the uh, Serratas. So I think we can say that with the hands full of gratitude, they are there for you because uh, we love you, Linda. Really, we love you. you. Thank you, Marcello. And I hope I'll get to see you before I go back to Munich. Okay, at least we speak to each other. We speak to each other for sure. Okay. 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 Big, big hug, kisses. Everybody. (laughs) Baci, baci, ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Bye. This is my life. Hi, friends. This is Linda Jo Rizzo, and you can hear me on Radio Stadtenhaus. This is the best music, the best sound around. Stay tuned. Enjoy. Bye.
Hey guy, are you happy? I am Ken Laszlo, Radio Stand the Night.
Hey, hey, guy, are you happy? Moet ik weer gaan praten door het mooiste stukje? Nee, heel grapje. Ja, 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 ja. ja. <laughs> ik wist dat ik het kon verwachten natuurlijk ook. Grazie, Linda. Linda Jorizzo. And she is always the lady and always very kind to uh, well to help us out also because we want to have some news and I, I can really understand that some things in life are top secret and you are not going to tell something about it before it's finished and uh, so I can really understand her but nowadays uh, well we are happy to have some news of the artists and especially when they have new projects to announce. So let's wait and see what is going to be released as a vinyl album in summer of this year, in July. So Linda, keep us posted and maybe if there's a little chance she will be here in the studio and we can have maybe some wonderful times together and we can record it if it's not in a direct live show here at the radio. So let's move on to the artist that she mentioned. And uh, well, by coincidence, I could grab this one spontaneously out of the the cupboard because this is the gazebo that we published with Eventi Dazzurro, the queen of burlesque and one of the wonderful intros of the Italo Disco sound that Eddie Miami made for this version, the 80s version of the queen of burlesque. So enjoy this one and I dedicate this one also to Linda. Here is Gazebo.
numero 20 d'Azzurro on Radio Start the Hall. In dit geval de remix van Italo-Connection. Italo Italo <laughs> beer. I have a beer. So you can hear. I have a beer. Hey, ik zal zo ver <laughs> hey, ik, zal, ik zal er weer eens eentje inspreken die wel leuk is. Baron Campari. Dan, ga ik, dan gaan we bellen met Baron Campari. Ja, gaan, gaan we doen. Gaan gaan we we doen. Zeker doen ja. Dan worden twee bezopen figuren bij elkaar. Leuk. Ja, leuk. Amice, het is leuk. Um, so, the Italo Connection version of La Antardide by Anne May. So, do you have listened to this one? And of course, with regards to Sergi Elias, because he has made the other one, the other version of the song, and that you could hear yesterday in the Saturday Night Live request show. Um, let's talk about something that's uh, coming up very soon in Holland, in Rotterdam, the Eurovision Song con- uh, Contest. And. Um, we are, well, we are having some difficulties with the Italian group that w- will be f- uh, perform on stage because uh, it's like a, a very big hard rock sound, 
And I can't imagine, even Maurizio says, how could they ever have chosen to be, first of all, number one in the Sanremo Festival and then uh, to be uh, sent out into the world as a, well, as an ambassador for Italy on the Eurovision Song Contest coming up. So, uh, I'm not going to play you the example of the rock that you're going to listen to, but I am uh, referring to a wonderful song sung by... Um, well, you know, the girl Laura Pausini. We have played, well, I think it was months ago already, Io Si, a beautiful, romantic, easy listening song. And uh, it is referring, of course, to a movie. And she got the Oscar to be uh, one uh, because of the beautiful music. So Laura Pausini is really something special. And we're going to play the Io Si song but now in the lyric video version with the Italian words so if you want to learn something of Italian language you could do your best in reading with the video so I'm hoping really I'm hoping cross fingers that you like the version of Dave Aude with the remix and this official lyric video listen to Laura Pausini. You said it correctly. I like the original as well. Maybe better even. But this is a nice version for the radio. And thank you, Grazie Elroy, for having this hint and suggestion as well. So, um, let's move on to something that you know and maybe you don't know. You know, Walking on Music, the Peter Jacks band. But did you know that Farida Crivolente did something uh, similar with Cuckoo? <laughs> Cuckoo, like fun fun. <laughs> yes, cuckoo. <laughs> a duo especially for the Far East on Flea record label. You know Florian Falinger, Flea, Flo. And uh, it has been published in 93. So it's already something uh, old. But I like to play you this one because you have your own opinion maybe about the walking on music. Maybe you say, oh my God, give me the original. I can imagine. But maybe you like this one as well. So let's wait and see and let's play the music. Here is Walking on Music.
song. <laughs> I can't do it without a laugh. Walking on music and uh, the classical theme by the Peter Jacks Band now in this uh, energy, this Eurobeat version of the, the guys. They call themselves Cuckoo. Well, it's like a studio project, more or less. Um, let's move on to something that was already suggested also as a tribute maybe to Albertone. It's... Um, It's the one that's suggested by Karim Oliver Donda. And he also publishes uh, now and then on the Show Your Vinyl pages uh, some ideas. And this, I think, is for me also special because I think it's one of the most wonderful, beautiful versions of this uh, song. The D version. Uh, Words by Renato René Derin. Think about the mono band. Coming up more news. And of course, Albertone Carpani. like a wonderful thing, a magical thing to sing along with this one, not only underneath the shower, but always, wherever you are, just 
sing along with Italo Disco, especially these kind of songs. And they were talking about the diversion. Yeah, maybe it's uh, about diversion that you are, well, you have been entertained maybe by the, the song. I like your jokes. <laughs> About the D version of the vinyl, maybe. Okay, let's move on to event releases. The one with of which I was so enthusiastic last week, and I still am, because I think I truly believe it could be one of the bombas. The what they call in the Rome with Arak and Darek a terremoto song. It's earthquake, it's earth moving a song like this, and it's a wonderful track. Giancarlo Pasquini, Dave Rogers, Aka, Aleph. Here is a star within you. Hi, this is Aleph, and you listen to the Eventi d'Azzurro. Why 
Well, you can imagine why I am so proud. And of course, I'm speaking be- on behalf of the team because we all are very enthusiastic about all tracks that we are going to release. But especially this one, I believe, is for Italo Disco fans. And remember the words of Linda Yorizzo. We are a fanatic group of people, but really a kind group of people buying the vinyl, buying the CDs, going to the Serato, the performances. So that's what she meant. And I hope that you are doing your best again, because this is already, of course, another release that we are uh, having. And um, we ask you again, spread the news. They're going to be on sale very, very soon. And we will publish this on Facebook pages, etc., etc. But Remember my words, it's going to help the artists as well because they can perform with new material and I'm I'm really hoping that Torvalo will do the same in future. But next week, Monday the 17th, we were going to talk about uh, the things with Torvado live via Skype. And this one is uh, mentioned to um, by Raf Todesco. This is the song by Rino Facchinetti, René. Don't Hurt Me, with the arrangements of Walter Bassani. You remember the guy from Meccano. But listen to the song first, and then I will explain to you what they wrote about the Facebook pages. It's about credits. It's about when you have a re-release, what you're going to do with the record information, with the, the sleeve information, and not just keeping it away from the people when they want to read the information when they needed to have the credits, of course. But I will explain to you later on. First, enjoy the song published on Disco Magic 1984, Don't Hurt Me. Here is René.
thing is, Raph Tedesco mentioned that it's okay, of course, when you have a reissue and the, there's another version. And I think, if I'm correct, that Fleming Dalem made the special version. Not only him, but another one did the same thing. And it has been published on vinyl, but they left out the really important people who were responsible for the song. So they left out the arrangements by uh, Walter Bassani. They left out the original composer, Rino Facchinetti. And I think that's a bit of a shame. When we Eventi Records have a reissue, we always have exactly the same cover as it has been originally. Sometimes maybe we add an extra word of thank you when it's appropriate, but nevertheless, we never change the credits or whatsoever on a sleeve. And I think that's a good thing to do, but uh, that was a comment by Raf Tedesco on Facebook, and that was the story about this song. Well, let's move on to another one that has been made very special to me, at, uh, to be honest, because Markus Breitbach from Germany, a very dear friend also, he said, well, if you guys are talking about Michael Davidson with Turn It Up, it was a song from a motion picture with Madonna, um, maybe it's a little bit in the style of Thomas and Schubert with the Crank It Up song published on Flair label. So I'm going to let you listen to the song and according to me there are some sounds because it's funny Nekli Valente referring to the sound you know from for example Albert One on Time Records. So listen to Flair 8338 and have your own opinion about this song by Thomas and Stewart. Here is Crank It Up. Thank you. 
It's a happy song. And you know, I had it from the conversation. And Ozzy, our dear Ozzy, is also referring to the motion picture sound with uh, Madonna. And, uh, well, my eye was uh, attracted to the conversation also because uh, this guy, this Marcus Breitbach in Germany, was having his own opinion about the song and referring to Thomas and Schubert crank it up. And that's why I played it with regards, of course, to Marcus. Well, I have to mention also, and I hope that he's able to listen uh, to this show, Ricardo Roca, or maybe it's called Rocha in Brazil. He's uh, living in Luviera, and uh, he's a loyal fan of the radio. He said, Radio Stadenha is the best station in the world. And of course, we are very happy with those remarks. So, Ricardo, when you're listening to the station right now, to our show of Viventi Azzurro, Thank you for your lovely words. And also to Bruno, he said, I can't express in words how glad I am with the new Aleph song. So thank you, Bruno, for those words. And uh, I think it's high time we uh, say goodbye with the compilation, the mini compilation that Mauricio Giovanni made. I still really can recommend to you, go to his Facebook pages or the message that I had uh, shared on my page of the words that he dedicated to Albert One, And he did it very, very nicely with a lot of respect. Thank you, Mauricio, for those words. And um, remember tomorrow, when there's uh, one year already passed without Albertone, that Mauricio used his personal top five. So it's nothing to do with the best of or whatever. No, it's his own selection of five wonderful songs made by this very missed by guy named Albertone Carpani, Albert One. With a big kiss to Rosangela, of course, because we love you and you are still here with us. So let's cherish the friendship with Rosangela Bonati. And uh, of course, always my regards to all the fans and friends that Albertone has in the world because a lot of people miss him and loved him so much. So let's transport the feelings of love to Rosangela and maybe also to each other because it's very nice to be part of something that's so beautiful like sharing music. So I say goodbye and buonanotte and saying saying grazie to Michiel for having the technique again and to Maurizio for the pizza, the beer and the wonderful mini compilation with the five songs of um, Albert One. And of course you out there sharing the words and the comments in the live chat. And of course, to all of you out there who I can't see or can't read, but I know you are there. Thank you, Linda Yorizzo, for your friendship and your love. And you know, we love you too. Enjoy the music, stay with us this week because a lot of live shows will be here with Rhythm Kitchen, with the Classic Cafe. Oh, no, there's no Rhythm Kitchen this there's week. No, oh, we I have only was... Will Reed, Club 80s. Oh. And no classic cafe? Yeah, of course. Every oh, okay. week. But we'll read for sure. Well, it's for sure, yeah. Thursday the 13th, there will be a real read show. Excuse me for having wrong the Rhythm Kitchen. But real read will be there and uh, enjoy his show, of course. And then in th- after the weekend, full of surprises, we will be there once again at the Sunday Night Live request show. And, of course, with Eventy on Monday. And we have a Sunday between 7 and 8. We have Spadio. Ja, Disco. Federico di Bonaventura. Yes. Fred Ventura. Oké, okay. un grosso, grosso ciao. Buonanotte a tutti voi. Ciao, ciao, ciao. ciao, ciao. De Stad en Haar programma's zijn nu nog beter dan ze al waren. Daar kun je elke dag op rekenen. Dus zet je radio gewoon op stad. Want van de allerbeste is er gelukkig maar één.
Nou, dan misschien ik wil even een applaus hebben voor die Marietje. Oh, ja, 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 ja. Dat was die was in de goorde mix van hem, van uh, Albertone Capani. Het was ook weer Inventi dat Zuro hier op jouw maandag. Vergeet aanstaande de woensdag ook niet, want dan is er weer een lekkere klassiek café met Erwin van Rijn. Uh, donderdag, uh, Thursday, heb ik het goed gezegd. Dan hebben wij Will Reed and zijn only club, hey, die is van Scotland. En vergeet niet, aanstaande zondag ben ik weer terug, tussen 5 en 7, met Douchco, je douche vol met disco. Met dagen in lijst van 1987. En die kan je aanstaande woensdag om 12 uur bekijken op Facebook. Iedere zondag tussen 5 en 7. Michiel van der Brugge in Dusko. Met natuurlijk een terugblik naar de Haagse flitsende 50 uit de Edies. Jouw douche vol met disco. Elke zondag tussen 5 en 7 op Radio Stad. Every Sunday evening, 8 p.m. Central European time. We spin those old school dance hits. Italo disco and high energy from the 80s. www.radiostopdenhaag.no Live with your requests. Go to our website, click the box and mail us your request. Radio Stop Den Haag. Every Sunday, live. Go and dance 